Well, hello, my honor students. I'm going to make, oh, five or six videos today. Make a few, take a break. But here we go. Today, I want to start with variation. There's two types of variation. There's directly and inversely. I'm going to start with directly. Now, remember, directly is as one gets bigger, the other one gets bigger. Oh, let's do it this way. As one gets bigger, the other one gets bigger. As one gets smaller, the other one gets smaller. So, the formula, as soon as you see varies directly, directly varies, or directly proportional, it's y1 over x1 equals y2 over x2. So, first set up your variables in terms of of words if it's a story problem or in this case it's just letters variables so we'd go six to four is y don't know what y is to ten now notice uh x got bigger so we should expect y to get bigger because it's directly cross multiply so it's 60 equals 4y don't even need a calculator for this Hopefully I don't make a silly mistake. I believe it's 15. So, X got bigger, Y got bigger. Let's try another one. Actually, you try this one. See if you remember how to do it. So, it varies directly. Same problem. So, we go 10 to 20 is 16. I don't know. So it'd be 10x, and I am going to use a calculator. I have no trouble if you use a calculator. Save a little inter energy. Let's see. Well, maybe not. Here we go. Here, let me get another calculator. <laughs> Here we go. So 16 times 12. Oh, my goodness, Murphy. I should be able to do this. You go uh, 10 times 16 is 160, 2 times it is 32, add the 2 together, you get 192. Oh my goodness. My brain not work on a Sunday morning. So you'd have x equals 19.2. Now, the other one is inverse. That is, as one gets bigger, the other one gets smaller. Bigger, smaller. And we talked about how nature occurs this way. As the wolf population goes up, the deer population go down because that's what they eat. Then as they hit a point, they start coming down where the deer starts coming back. We And that's a product. So whenever you see varies inversely, uh, we know it's Y1X1 equals Y2X2. Again, if it's story problem words, set up the words. Make the model before you actually put the numbers in. So here I go. Uh, 20 times 6 equals Y times 10. So I'd have 120 equals 10Y divide by 10. Y equals 12. Notice X got bigger, 6 to 10. Y got smaller, 20 to 12. So try that one on your own and then turn me back on. Okay, so it's 10 to 10 equals 4X. So you'd have hard equals 4X. Divide by 4. X is 24. Five. Hey, not so bad. So have a good day.